Fall is in the air, everywhere I look around. That melody was so off. <coughs> guys. Oh my god. Oh, oh my god. Are you looking at this? The new Light Slacker Fall Collection is officially available. We just launched today, right now, at lightslacker.com and it is honestly the coolest freaking collection we have ever done. I am honestly so excited to talk about this collection because overall it truly is the most thought out planned out most like detailed theme we've ever done the team worked so freaking hard on this collection shout out to the design team shout out to the social media team shout out to the marketing team. shout out to literally everybody on my team this theme these colors these stickers this collection is literally everything okay and i'm really really trying hard to contain my excitement i'm really trying but basically our fall collection is murder mystery themed very much inspired by like agatha christie and the 1920s and clue all those vibes that is honestly what inspired this whole entire collection look at these colors they are so rich so beautiful you get six delicious very creamy opaque shades well five very creamy opaque shades there is one shade that is a jelly it has like a transparent finish it's very sheer but the rest are so creamy and one coaters honestly you can get away with just one coat with every single shade if you are into rich fall creams you are going to freaking die over this collection there aren't any glitters anything too crazy it is truly just a classic classic fall collection and i think you guys will love this color story i'm actually wearing two of them right now i'm wearing the butler on this hand and a mysterious affair on this one i'm wearing my two favorites i honestly didn't know which one i wanted to wear for this video so i threw them both on because these are my top two and you already know the deal We've done this before. I'm gonna be showing you guys some swatches and also throwing up pictures of my mom wearing these nail polishes because you guys like to see my mom in the polish. And she usually takes these pictures like under direct sunlight and our swatches are under studio light. So I want you guys to see like the polish and different lighting. And of course, I'm also gonna throw up some comparisons so you can see these shades like next to our other shades. But yeah, let's begin. So I wanna start off by talking about this incredible PR box. We have never done a PR box this extravagant before. Even with our spring lunch, where it had like the little golden flower doors. This is way more heavy duty than that. Like this is intense. This is a thick ass box. And the cool thing about it is you can totally reuse it. I know I say that about <laughs> every single PR box because we really try to make them in ways that you can use them because they're definitely collectibles and we don't want these things to go to waste. We want you to use them forever. So this one is really, really cool because you get a drawer on the bottom and you get a little compartment on top. This is supposed to look like a vintage jewelry box. Like picture a 1920s wooden gorgeous jewelry box. Obviously we couldn't do like a real wooden vintage one because that would have cost a trillion dollars. But Natalia designed it to make it look like really vintagey. Look at this. She did such a beautiful job on this box and I love that the inside is just like laced with this beautiful velvet green material really giving it that like 1920s vibe. And the best part is you can take this out like usual and now you have a really beautiful vintage box that you can use for literally anything. Two compartments you can use for literally anything. You can put your jewelry in here because this material helps it from getting black so you can like store your jewelry in here. Old photos, love letters. You guys always make fun of the fact that I say to use these for love letters because like who the hell is writing love letters anymore? I know, but still, it's such a cute little memory box. So freaking cute, so romantic, I love it. And you can actually purchase this entire PR collection that comes with the really, really gorgeous, beautiful nail stickers. You can purchase this full collection with the PR box on our website. But of course, it is only while supplies last if you want the full experience. But if you don't want the PR box, we always offer the six polishes in a bundle and you save some money that way too. But look at these stickers, guys. Do you see how stunning they are? I'm obsessed with this little the bloody rose right here. I love it. The skulls are so freaking cool. I'm obsessed with these little feathers. I can't. I can't. These are so fun and unique. They seriously scream murder mystery. Shout out to Camila for designing these. She killed it. Seriously, so cute. By the way, do you guys follow us on Light Slacker, like on the Instagram? That picture that they posted of me that's on the card. I actually hate this photo. I look so ridiculous. <laughs> that was my attempt of at being scared, but like also glam. It's really hard to look glamorous, but be scared to death. I could not master it, but we tried. But anyway, definitely go check out the PR collection. You are going to absolutely love this. And I have something really exciting for you guys. Are you ready? I am doing a giveaway with the PR collection exclusively for you guys here on YouTube. It is 
our little secret giveaway. I'm giving away this, this PR box actually. This collection right here. Well, maybe not this one. I've been like putting my fingers all over it. I'll grab you guys and I'll grab you a new one. But I wanted to do a giveaway for you guys here in this video for my YouTube besties. And basically all you have to do is be subscribed to our newsletter at lightsacker.com. I'm gonna leave a little link down below so you can sign up to our newsletter if you haven't signed up already. But basically if you are signed up, you are automatically entered into this giveaway. And I will personally be reaching out to you guys via email and contacting you guys. So please, please, please pay attention to your email. I'm gonna be announcing the winner the 13th. I'm gonna contact you September 13th yes so you have a couple days to enter if you're not subscribed and maybe you get a chance to win the who did it collection oh my god I didn't even tell you guys the name the collection is called who did it first thing I want to say shout out to Natalia because she pretty much came up with this whole collection oh my god stop she put little L's here I didn't even see that I didn't even notice that detail Natalia you're so cute look at that little L you're so cute. She pretty much came up with this whole theme when we were brainstorming one day because we actually came up with the colors before we came up with the theme for this one. And the colors were just so classic and vintage, it really just made sense. And it was funny because when we were coming up with this theme and the names and all of that stuff, she was really inspired by that Agatha Christie movie. She made me watch it like 300 times. What is it called? She would kill me over the fact that I don't know the name of it. Death on the Nile. It was called Death on the Nile. I was getting that confused with Murder on the Orient Express. But have you guys seen Agatha Christie Death on the Nile? Okay. The clothes, iconic, stunning. The overall vibe of that movie, beautiful. Check it out. But anyway, you get it. Murder mystery, clue vibes, all that good stuff. It's so funny because I was gonna tell you guys right now, I'm actually gonna talk about my three favorite ones first and then these three after because these are definitely like the cooler shades in the collection and these are definitely warmer. So I gravitate towards this side, but I, I cannot pick a least favorite in this collection because I don't have like a least favorite. I, I guess maybe cold case because I'm not much of a gray wearer, but even then, even then, this has like a little bit of a blue undertone that just makes it a special gray. Honestly, I, I just, I'm I'm obsessed with all of them. So let's start in no particular order. <laughs> Actually, let's do let's do my two favorites. So you don't have to say this with every one of these videos. If you can only get one polish from the entire collection, like you only got room for one, it 100% needs to be a mysterious affair. You guys need this shade. This is the shade I'm wearing on this hand. This is the most beautiful, beautiful brickish red that has a stunning orange undertone. It is literally one of my favorite reds of all time. These are my favorite kind of shades. These terracotta burnt, bricky, warm, reddish oranges. I literally live for shades like this, especially on my lips. I love lipsticks of this color. And these are my favorite kinds of shades because even though it screams fall, like this is honestly like my ideal fall red. I feel like it can take you throughout the entire year because I can totally see myself wearing this in the summer, in the winter, even in the spring. It's such a beautiful classic burnt red that I honestly think everybody needs. Everybody. Everybody needs it. And the only one I would say it's kind of similar to, and not really, is Kale Polish Guana. But not really, not even, not even. Guana is definitely more red, more deep. This one has a little bit more of that terracotta undertone that is just so, so stunning. If you remember Kale Polish Cha Cha Cha, that one is even more orange. This one is just like the perfect balance of the orange and red. It is classic, stunning, spicy, so, so good. My favorite, hands down. Hands down, my favorite in the collection. And this is definitely a one coater. You don't need two coats. I'm wearing two coats on my hands because I'm just used to adding two coats. But honestly, if you were rushing and you had to be somewhere quick, one coat is all you need. And then this name is also so sexy too. A Mysterious Affair. I love it. Next up, we have the butler. I actually really, really love this name too. I think it's so freaking cute. It's very cluish. Now this shade, this shade will surprise you guys. I know you look at it in the bottle and you're like, oh, it's brown. Cool. No, it is a warm, delicious caramel camel, brown leathery purse kind of brown. It is so rich and beautiful. Like I said, it's the color I'm wearing on this hand right here. And you can see I'm wearing a brown shirt. It's way more rich. It's so much warmer. It is so good. <laughs> Seriously stunning. It's one of those colors that you don't know how beautiful it is until you put it on your nails and you're like, wow. I'm gonna wear that for the rest of my life. It really is right there, right there in second place with a mysterious affair. I cannot get enough of it. And honestly, I don't have anything in my collection that looks like this. And this is another one that honestly, done with one coat. Okay, let's talk about For the Thrill because we did get a bunch of questions about this asking us to compare it to Emerald. 
Hold on. And honestly, they are both similar because they're both like rich, deep greens and they're, they have a cream finish. But Emerald is definitely the blue version. When we launched Emerald, although it's a big hit, everybody loves Emerald, it's one of our top sellers. We got a lot of feedback from you guys asking for a color like this, but more green, more like, honestly, the only way I can describe it is like, it's like a jockey green. Is that the right word? Am I saying that right? You know, like the guys who like play polo? That's not jockey, is it? That like racing horse green. Does that, does that make sense? Does that ring a bell? I feel like this is very much racing horse <laughs> green and emerald has that teal undertone. For the thrill is just like green. So it really depends on what you're looking for. Personally, out of the two, I prefer for the thrill. It honestly is like the perfect deep green. It doesn't have a blue undertone. It's, it's just like racing, race horse green. And truly, truly a fall staple. I'm obsessed with this shade. Another one coder. So freaking good. You will love that shade if you love green. Okay, so you know with these collections, I always have to have a name. It started off as like a fun little thing I did and now I have to do it forever. Cause you know, if I don't, the world will end. So our lovely little gal in this collection is named Adeline, which of course was inspired by the movie. <laughs> but I love that name so much in general. Such a gorgeous name. And honestly guys, this shade is a staple. I feel like everyone needs this color in their collection, no matter who you are. It is a sheer translucent like jelly pink, but it's a very, very, very light muted like neutral pink. I'm going to show you compared to Marie, but you can see like she's way more pink and way more peach. Like honestly looking at Adeline next to Marie, Adeline looks so nude, but she really is such a stunning little pinky shade. And this jelly form makes it so easy to paint the nails guys you will do your nails with this shade in literally two seconds it's so easy to use I would 100% recommend two coats with this because one coat is a bit too sheer but with two coats it looks like your nails are wearing like a tinted moisturizer like a pink tinted moisturizer it's so light and uh, really shiny and really really beautiful it kind of just reminds me of like a bridal party or like a tea party something that's very elegant that I picture people wearing like to their wedding or like if you have a job where you can't really wear like intense color like if you're a nurse or a doctor or a model, I don't know. This shade is perfect for you. Seriously, perfect for you. It's so, so beautiful. And it's also really great to use as like a base for nail art. Stunning, stunning. All right, let's talk about cold case. Let's talk about cold case. I'm actually not a huge fan of gray polish. I don't really wear it that often, but this shade was so unique and special when we were making it. We really wanted a shade that was gray, but wasn't like boring. So we made sure it had that like slight blue undertone that made it a lot more wearable. So stunning, another one of those just one coaters, but of course, I recommend two. So I don't need to say that every time, right? It is so creamy, so good, amazing formula as usual, but the shade really, really is so unique and so pretty, and just like a lot nicer on the nails than I thought it was gonna be. And it's so funny because I think I've told you guys this. We always do a, like a little cookie game over at Light Slacker, the Lacquer Ladies, like, like the whole team, we get together and we vote what we think is gonna be the best seller, all the way down to like the least seller, like what we think it's gonna be. So we do like all six shades and we put it in a little list and then 24 hours after we launch, we see who wins. And then whoever wins, whoever gets the order right, like the exact order right, all six shades in the perfect order, gets cookies. And we've been playing this game since the start of Light Slacker and no one had ever won until Natalia for our summer collection, which was really, really exciting. And we all agree that for this collection, we're afraid no one's gonna win because it's so up in the air because all the colors are so good that it's like they're all gonna be in first place. Like they're all so amazing. And there's a point to this story, I swear. But, <laughs> When we were talking about these shades and we were like, okay, this one's gonna do so good and then this one's gonna do whatever. Anai, who's on our team, she's amazing, shout out to Anai. Anai was like, I'm telling you, Cold Case, Cold Case is gonna be up there, you guys are sleeping on Cold Case, Cold Case is the color of the year. She really believes that this type of shade is the fall color of this year. She's like, trust me, I know what I'm telling you and I believe her because she is the nail god and I trust her word, so get that Cold Case because apparently, the hottest color of the year. And I also really love that name, like so clever. Cold case, so cute. And then last but not least, we have Midnight Train, which is actually another one of my favorite names. It instantly reminds me of the Journey song. Like I don't think of 1920s murder mystery. I think of, jo oh, I was gonna say Josie's on her vacation far away. Oh my God, that's not it. What is it? She took the midnight, what? How does it go? She took the midnight train going anywhere. But anyway, 
Midnight Train. This one is another one coater, really stunning formula. I don't usually gravitate towards purples. I know purples and berries are like everyone's favorite shade. I feel like this shade out of all of them got the most likes when we were revealing them. Like you guys were going crazy over this shade in the comments and that makes me really, really excited. I'm so happy that you guys love this shade. It's kind of like a purple burgundy but it has a little bit of like a wine undertone. There's a little bit of red in there and the only color I can think of that it's similar to like from the past would be um, Kale Polish Mindy, but Mindy is deeper. It's a little bit darker. This one's a little bit more berry and brighter. It's a little more lively. It's a little more lively. Really stunning shade that I feel looks beautiful on every single skin tone. I love this shade, especially on deeper skin tones. It's just so, so stunning. And yeah, I just, I just love the name, you know. The names are what, the names are what gets me. But uh, yeah guys, I think that's it. Uh, that, that, those are all the colors. That completes this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this really beautiful, magical, vintage murder mystery collection. The Light Slacker Who Did It collection. I hope you guys really, really love this collection as much as we loved creating it. Seriously, we've had so much fun doing this. Thank you so much for the love and support, especially on all the comments. I hope you guys know, all of you guys like commenting on our Light Slacker feed, on every picture, and liking all the pictures, and just giving your opinion and your feedback it means the world to us like we get so giddy and so excited every time we see your comments like we love you guys so freaking much we talk about you guys all the time and how great you are and how blessed we are and it's just you guys are amazing I'm super grateful I truly cannot thank you enough I cannot thank you enough you guys make my job so fun this is my favorite part of my job and I, I, I think I can't I can't thank you enough so I really really hope you guys check out the new fall collection at lightslacker.com I will of course leave the website down below don't forget to sign up to our newsletter if you want a chance to win this bad mama jam that link will also be down below but yeah guys that completes this video thank you guys so much for watching I love you guys so 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 much please subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video bye